Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Uh, welcome back to Celebrating Act 2 and our founder's vlog, blog, whatever it is, where Art and I get together every week and wax poetic about something really important. And speaking about important, your forehead has dots on it. Did you just come back from the doctors? Yeah, my semi-annual burn, cut, slice, and slap uh, visits. I have my, I have the two doctors I see semi-annually, my dermatologist who made this beautiful array. And, yeah, that looks uh, and like he dermatology also, work, he, yeah. He, he, he cut some stuff off my ear, which is probably fine. And uh, he scrubbed my uh, the top of my head with the nitrogen or whatever they use to free stuff off. So yeah. that was kind of nice. And then followed that with my, actually my favorite doctor, uh, who's my uh, uh, a family doctor, who I have every six months, he checks me out and makes sure my blood pressure is right and all that stuff. Uh, so that was my that was my morning. What about you? Interestingly enough, I just got back from the dentist. Oh, really? Uh, for my whatever it is, bi, tri, monthly, quarterly, whatever it is, cleaning. Hmm. So. And uh, my teeth are fine, but the gums will have to come out, as they say. <laughs> you know. So, but yeah, but it, you know, for considering age and everything, I'd say uh, I'm definitely in better shape than I deserve to be. How about yeah. you? Uh, uh, same thing, uh, actually. If uh, uh, he says, uh, you know, you're you're uh, overweight, and uh, if you if you lost, what, what if a you lost, he says you don't have to lose a hundred pounds. It'd be nice, but if you lost thirty pounds. You'd feel better and this and that. I mean, I know all this stuff. Yeah. Um, so uh, when I see him six months from now, uh, uh, maybe I'll do something about it. I, I've started so many times. Uh, that's a whole different uh, subject matter. But uh, that, so that was my, my general practitioner. And I, uh, he's absolutely terrific. He's a terrific guy. And I told him, I said, look, because he knows about my 25-year rolling plan, I said, in about 10 or 15 years, I'm counting on you to before you can retire, you've got to find me somebody like you to replace you because I'm going to, I'm certainly going to outlast your practice. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's probably in his uh, early 60s now. Great guy. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Uh, have you had the same uh, doctors all along? These are pretty uh, Well, no, we, we've moved a couple of times, so we, right. we have to change doctors. But we've been very fortunate. We've always had good doctors mm -hmm. and um, been with a good group. Um, and you know, with where, when you have a group of doctors, they can refer you easily to the guy upstairs and down the hall. And, you know, you need to, all of you, you know, got a skin thing go see my partner down the hall. He's the dermatologist. You got a cancer thing. Go see my guy up on four, fourth floor. Oh, wait, you're, so, you're, you belong to a, like an HMO kind of thing. A what? An yeah. HMO. Yeah. An well, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a big I don't know what they call it, to be real honest, but it's group. a big, uh, big conglomerate. It's not a um, a small group of doctors, small meaning yeah. under 50. Mm -hmm. This is a huge conglomerate that owns, you know, hospitals and everything else. So but they're way, really how good. many regular doctors do you have? Um, I was counting on my hand just the other day, and I have five or six doctors, six including my dentist. Oh, I so, thought you were about uh, to say... Not and not including the guy who took my tooth out last year, oh. which is another dentist, a, a surgeon, oral surgeon. I was worried so for a minute because I thought you said you were counting on your five or six hands. And <laughs> you were going for like a no, Guinness Book of Records. We try to keep it on one hand. If, yeah. I, if I need a sixth doctor, that's when I'm going to really feel old. But, you know, the, the interesting thing is that medicine has changed over the years to the point where now that we are older, um, not only has medicine changed, but the insurance and the you know and Medicare and all that is uh, kicks in, and so you really have um, a wonderful team of specialists that are available to you if you want them. Now a lot of people just won't go to the doctor, you know, but I right. I'm I have no problem going to dentists and doctors and yeah, I like finding out things. Up. I like finding out things before they have to say, have you done all your Final planning uh, oh. kind of activity, but I so one one of the things that I appreciate, and I know that you have it because the kind of group that you've described is that most of my doctors are in the same group, and even when they're not, 
they get, uh, like, for instance, I had a, a melanoma removed from the top of my head about four years ago. Right. And I actually just had my fourth and next to last annual checkup with that regular doctor. But all the records are in one place. So when he opened it up today, he said, oh, I, I see what the guy did upstairs just right. a couple of minutes ago. And yeah. the colonoscopy, you had these guys in there and we'll schedule again in three or five yep. years or whatever. So one of the nice things is opposed to 10 years ago, all the stuff is right there. They can refer to all the results and it's That's all true. right there. That's true. Although I, I am under the impression that even if you had a bunch of doctors that were not part of the same group, because everything's an electronic file now, a, a digital file and, and online, they can just simply email it back and forth. So that's right. true no matter who your doctors are. Well, anyway, that was, that, that's kind of nice. So we went over that. But I, I guess the bottom line of all this is that uh, if you can afford to go regularly, you should, because yes. that's how I caught my melanoma. And I'm cancer free after four years. And, uh, you know, except for these spots here, 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 well, and here. You know, but that's right? that's normal maintenance. And uh, he lops something off uh, my earlobe and uh, that'll probably be fine. But if not, I'll go in there and they'll do a, uh, well, that Mohs treatment or something, get rid of it before it becomes something serious. Yeah. So, so you, you just like a good skin peel once in a while. Absolutely. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the next best thing to something medical is a pedicure. I'm big on pedicures. In fact, if all I right, have... that's the, that's the next video. How many pedicures and nail people do you have? I, my, I ha actually, I have one that I go back to over and over again. We we who get manicures and pedicures, okay, like like the relationship we have with our uh, provider. So really, uh, I go to I think it's called Nails Plus or Nail Spa or something, but it's in the same place and it's yeah. a nice little family run place that has got two shops. Uh, one here and one, I, I don't know where the other one is, but ah. so it's kind of nice. But I guess the bottom line here. of all this is that if you have medical coverage, okay, yes. you should go uh, on a periodic basis to stay in front of it rather than get behind when something could be serious that otherwise would have been taken care of. Absolutely. Absolutely. At our age, meaning anybody over 60, actually over 50, I think, hmm. you know, your body has changed. People seem to think that your body changes as a teenager. And then you're, it, you're in stasis. You're, you, nothing happens until you get really, really old and then you die, right? But what happens is around, really around 40 or 50, your body starts aging at various rates. Things happen. Your body starts wearing out. You really got to take care of yourself. So you're so, absolutely right. So you're really giving stuff people to look forward to. Uh, yeah. We're going to lose everybody who's 45 or 50. We've just lost them. So thanks a lot, John. Okay, I see the subscribe button uh, start to disappear. I'm going to have to uh, take you behind the woodshed. And... All right. Well, listen, anyway, take care of yourself, everybody. Yeah. Stay healthy and don't be afraid to go to the doctor. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.